Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2020 Keystone Passport 2210RB. This is an awesome couples model. You have a slide out helping to open up this main living space. And in lieu of a dinette, you have a big bar top, which for me, I personally like. I mean, it wouldn't work for my current situation because I have little ones and I need a bunk model. But if it was just my wife and I, I think this is a perfect setup. So uh, I'll start off by saying this is a very open floor plan, which is kind of one of the reasons I like it. It's really not meant to have any guests over. It's, again, just kind of intimate between two people. What you'll notice right away is the fact you have a barreled ceiling, which again, helps to open up this main living area, makes it feel a lot more open. You don't feel closed in and claustrophobic. And it is a fully walkable roof, mind you, outside. So if you do need to get up there, even though it's barreled, no problem, you can still get up there and do what you need to do. You'll also see ducted AC, that way you can stay nice and cool on those hot days. Couple speakers in here, LED lights, of course, as well. Let's actually start off here. So this is the TV. If you want a TV, there it is, no problem. Now you can either turn this toward the bed because it is on a swing arm mount. So if you wanna lay in bed and watch TV, you can. If you wanna turn a little bit more toward the theater seating, you can do that as well. There is extra storage behind that. It's kind of tough to see, uh, but it is back there. So if you have like any extra components, auxiliary components you wanna put in there, you can. You also see your multimedia center right here. It does have the HDMI port on there. A couple USB ports there underneath as well. And if you take a look right underneath that, so this is kind of what I was talking about. You have the bar top right here. It does come with the two stools. That way the two of you can sit right there. You have plenty of space here to have a meal. And for me, that, that's all I really need, you know, when I'm camping. If I can't be outside, then I really need nothing more than this. If you take a step on the other side, you will see underneath you have a bank of four full extension ball bearing drawers, plenty of space for your flatware, all your other goodies. Again, just a ton of countertop space. If you take a look from that bar top all the way over, lots of countertop, lots of prep space, which I certainly enjoy. You'll see the high rise faucet. It is a pull out faucet as well. Just making, you know, washing and rinsing dishes, dishes a little bit easier. Kind of a modern look to it, which I enjoy. Sink top cover, so you have prep space. This is cutting board quality if you flip it over. And because you have seamless countertops, it uh, allows you to undermount that stainless steel bowl for a much cleaner look. And plus, again, it allows you to put this sink top cover in here and you kind of have almost a flush mount there, which I like. Uh, over to the side is your recessed cooktop. It is a three burner cooktop with the glass cover. It is the Furion one, so if you haven't seen it before, here it is, just folds up and back like so, giving you access to the three burners. Front one being high output. This right here lights up the blue lights if you want it on there, as well as turns on the light in the oven. You'll also see a blue light underneath. That is a courtesy light. You can turn that off. Uh, I'll show you the switch a little bit later here, but whoops, not that one. Let's try that again. It's uh, right there, there it is. So that will turn off that courtesy light, but that's good to have on. You know, you can leave that on at night. Uh, it's not too terribly bright at night, and that way you can, if you need to get up and use the bathroom in the middle of the night, you can see where you're going. I do want to show you the storage underneath the sink because as you will see you have a ton of space there for pots and pans. Uh, I'll show you where the trash can goes in just a little bit here. Storage all the way across the top. They want the frosted glass look which I like. It helps break up the wood. Uh, you have the microwave up top, hood underneath, a little bit more storage here and as I mentioned plenty of space right there for a nice big trash can. Uh, the, the control panel is located right up here. So uh, you'll see all of your lights and everything around there, tank monitoring panel, this little guy right here, that's your courtesy light there. And if we take a look at the back, as soon as you walk in, a big wardrobe. I love this personally. Now, you do have wardrobes up front, but with this, it gives you a spot to hang up jackets. You know, if you do some cold weather, colder weather camping or late into the fall, you know, kind of doing that September, October camping, you chances are you'll have some heavier gear and this gives you a spot to hang that up. Cubby hole underneath there, plus storage over here and a drawer. I mean, this whole thing, this whole back wall is just loaded with storage, which I like. Uh, thermostats located on this wall. This does control your ducted AC as well as your heat. And in the back corner here is the bathroom. So foot, foot, foot flush lever toilet is right here in the corner. Now, I will say uh, this one is a little tough for me. Just because of the way it's angled, I, I kind of wish they angled it a little more this way. Uh, but where it sits, you know, you can see my, my knee and my foot kind of jam up in here. And so it, if I had to you know, say anything bad about it, this is what it would be. I just wish they would have changed the angle a little bit. But other than that, the bathroom definitely works. You will see the Neo Angle shower right over here. I'll take a step inside again. 
six foot tall, plenty of room, even without the skylight. With it, you can be 6'3", maybe even 6'4", without having to bend down. Shelves, hand wand as you, do, as you would expect, and you have the doors in a roller track, that way all the water stays in there when you open it up. You have a mirrored medicine cabinet with a shelf underneath, sink top and vanity, a little bit of storage under there, as well as your plumbing access. I also like the door on here, a little more decorative than what we normally see, instead of just being a flat panel, it's kind of like a two-tone wood there. Uh, you know, again, just a, a little more aesthetically pleasing. The last part of your kitchen is the Dometic fridge freezer combo. You'll see that right over here. This unit does run off both propane and electric and has automatic switch over. Plenty of space in there. And Dometic switched uh, their handles. Rather, it used to be where you would uh, kind of have right here and you have a little thumb thing you had to push and it would confuse a lot of people. Now you literally have this handle. You just kind of pull it to the side, opens right up. Pretty simple and easy to use. Making our way back up the RV, this is, of course is the slide out. And as I mentioned, this one does have the dual feeder seating, which makes it very comfortable. Your armrest here is removable. So if you, you know, again, want a little more intimate, snuggle up with the, uh, your, the love of your life, you can do that. Otherwise you can drop that in there. Technically, I think it goes this way is the way it's supposed to be. Um, some cup holders there. I wouldn't put anything in there that doesn't have a cap just because it's not super sturdy, but if you got a bottle of water or soda or something, it'll work just fine. Both of these do recline so you can kick back and relax. And on both sides, you will see you have your end tables, electrical outlets there, USB ports. If you need to plug anything in, you can do that. And the lights above me are on a dimmer switch. You can just push and hold that. I would do it, but it messes with the camera and then everything will start to flicker. Um, but that, it does have the dimmer switch. So again, if you need to you know, dim that down a little bit, a little bit later at night, you can do that. Of course, windows all throughout that slide as well. In the very front, one of my favorite parts about Passport is the fact that, folks, this is a 60 by 80 residential queen size bed. That means a couple things for you. One, unless you're super tall, your feet shouldn't be hanging off, which is great. Two, if you need a different mattress, you, you have one at home you love or something, you don't have to have a special TRV mattress. You can just put a good old residential mattress in here. Bear in mind, a lot of times residential mattresses are thicker, so a lot of times you will sit up a little bit higher, but you do have the capability to do that. On both sides, you have huge nightstands. You can see they run all the way back there. Again, electrical outlets, USB ports. Up above, you have mirrored wardrobe. You'll see the hanging rod with a shelf up top. More storage going across the top there as well. Now that we've seen the insides, take a quick look at some of the outside features on the 2020 Keystone Passport 2210RB. Right up front is the power tongue jack. This makes it easier to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. So all you have to do is flip the rocker switch here to raise and lower the tongue. You also have a light at night for added visibility. And in the rare event the motor fails, there is a manual override so you're not stuck out at the campsite. Behind that are two 20 pound propane tanks with the cover. Rails here for your battery. And over to the side, built into the frame, if you take a look right there, you will see this one has solar prep as well. So if you want solar, simply buy the portable panels, plug it in right there. It's already pre-wired and it'll trickle charge your battery. Coming up the front is diamond dutch plating, helping to protect that front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And you have a front three-quarter cap. The reason it's a three-quarter cap, not a full cap, is because it doesn't actually truly roll over, but it does give it a, uh, a little bit more, it's a little more aesthetically pleasing by the looks of it. Kind of has the big faux windshield on there. And it, you know, it does come out a little bit, so there's a little bit of air in there, adding some insulation value, although realistically it's probably negligible. Coming around to the side, you will see the pass-through storage. So this one has the covered hinge on here. You'll also see that it has magnetic catches. And folks, look how big it is. This is a huge pass-through. Now granted, you know, it, it does kind of, it is where those uh, nightstands were. So, you know, this is the bed, so it doesn't go all the way up to the top there. But even, even with that, if you take a look, it is still very large in here. You have the light, in case you need to uh, see at night. Of course, aluminum throughout, you know, this is a laminated product. You will also see right over here to the side, the controls for the power stabilizer jacks. One of those will control the front two, the back one will control the rear two. Uh, bear in mind, that's not auto level, folks. You, if you try to level it, you will break those. Once the coach is leveled though, you can use those. That way your coach isn't rocking around as you're moving around inside. You will see the power awning up top, touch button, roll it out. Same thing to have it go back in. LED light strip on there. Couple outside speakers, which are connected to that multimedia center inside. And if watching TV is more your speed, don't worry. You have TV hookups right out here as well. And because it is a Keystone product, it has the Key TV, which does make hooking up cable and satellite very, very simple. 
We drop down, you will see the beautiful aluminum alloy wheels, which aren't going to rust. They'll stay looking great for years to come. And it has what they call the load equalization axles or spread axles. The great thing about that is that because your, uh, your axles essentially are further apart, you kind of have a wider wheelbase, which will help reduce sway as you're going down the road, giving you overall better tow. You'll see these steps at the More Ride Step Above Step system. Very solid here. You can see I'm over 200 pounds. You can walk up and down it, can basically jump on it, and the steps hardly flex. Aluminum treads as well, so they won't rust, plus the grip tape there so for some traction if it's wet out. And you will see the foldable grab handle. That way you have more control when entering or exiting this RV. Uh, if we drop down underneath, you'll see this one does have a fully insulated uh, and enclosed underbelly, plus it is heated with forced air. So great thing about that, a couple different things is one, it'll help keep, off, uh, keep out all the road grime. Two, hopefully it'll keep out some of the rodents in the off season when you're storing it. And three, it will help keep things warmer in colder climates. Again, if you're doing some you know, fall camping, this one will be just fine. You won't have to worry about your tanks and lines and stuff freezing up on you in some of those colder temps. Dead of winter, a eh, slightly different story. If we come around to the back, you will see square tubular bumper here. Take off the end caps, give you a convenient spot to store your sewer hose. Now, personally, I would put it on the other side just because you have the grill mount for your grill right here. And I really don't want my sewer hose behind my grill. But uh, it does come with the grill, and you'll see right underneath is that propane quick connect so you have a place to plug that grill into. Also mounted to the bumper is your spare tire, so it's very easy to get to, and you have the cover to help keep it in good shape. Your key TV system is right back here. Uh, so that is where your cable and satellite will feed into, and that will feed it to uh, both TVs here, the one inside as well as the outside from that one inlet. If you want backup camera, this one does have the prep, making it easier to install, meaning it will save you money on labor. And coming around to the off-door side, you'll see the outside shower with both hot and cold water access here. Right underneath that is your black tank flush. If we take a look on the off-door side, in front of the slide, you'll see your 30 amp detachable power cord. We'll plug right in here. Also, your two water connections, city water inlet in the back, your fresh water fill right in front of it. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2020 Keystone Passport 2210RB. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.